guys, I thought I would do a little vlogging today. I am making a smoothie, and I thought I would just kind of show you a little bit of what we're going to do with school and things like that, because I've been watching a couple of vlogs lately that do things with school, and, um, or that show, like, what they're doing in school, not just kind of like a shot of this is what we're going over, but they actually show what they're doing. So I'm going to try it today. We'll see. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> My boys are doing their chores, and I am, um, I've already went to the gym, I came home, I did my devotions, and I also have showered. Yes. I kind of look like a drowned cat when I first get out of the shower, but as my hair dries, because I kind of like, I actually take a comb, I take a comb and smooth it down, and but as it dries, I kind of like scrunch it up, and it doesn't look so bad. Um, so anyways, that is kind of where we're at. We made some beds and we are doing chores, supposed to be, I think we're chasing each other, and making some breakfast and then, um, yeah, I think that's about it and then we're going to get some school started. <laughs> okay, the boys are going to start with their daily learning notebooks. Natalia has one too, but we are going to start with a book, Rapunzel. I'm tangled. Mommy, why are starting it over? You want to start on this page? There's no words. That's why you, you, they read it because you have to tap on them. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't have the pen. The That's the, why you can pen. use If you tap the, if you tap the present, you can, it can read it for you. Oh, it reads it for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Mommy will read it for you. Okay. Once upon a time, a princess named Rapunzel was born. Rapunzel was a very special girl whose magical hair had the power to heal the sick and injured and could keep people from growing old. Mother Gothel, a vengeful old woman who wanted to remain young forever, don't suck that thumb, don't suck that thumb, stole the princess and locked her away in a tower. Here, hold my hand. To keep Rapunzel from leaving, the woman told her the world outside was full of danger and horrible. Okay, so this is Roman. He's third grade, and he is checking off um, his schedule. It's just dry erase, and then we kind of have the same thing Monday through Thursday. And um, this is his daily learning notebook. Well, <laughs> that's a picture. But that's Africa that he traces some days, and that's on his schedule. And this is his other daily learning that he does. And, um, yeah, add tally marks. 100 days of school. And it's kind of Writing maybe needing some TLC and Roman and practicing writing his name in cursive. So he is just now kind of transferring over to cursive. We're midway through the year here. Um, so anyways, the next thing he's going to be working on is math and then copy work and spelling. So he's getting out his math. Lesson two. You are. Yes. Good. And it's very hard. It's very hard. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay. One more time. Good job. I might talk later. Okay. Go ahead, Titus. I really got a zoom and verde. And that's green. Morado, negro, amarillo. Naranja, Cafe, Nice job. This is a Spanish video. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> My kids watch a lot of YouTube videos of Minecraft, so they like to say the little phrases that they hear. And here's Roman over here working on his... I switched to lesson one, and then I knew you would be mad, so I switched back to lesson two. Yeah, you're in lesson two. <laughs> He likes to do the ones that he knows, which makes sense. But he is working on lesson two, and Titus is sleeping. Oh no, I never sleep. <laughs> you never sleep in the mornings? So he's just reviewing some Spanish, so I usually help him with that while Roman's doing spelling. And then what else do you have to do, bud? Your math? Nothing. Nothing? And he just does like a little, um, we're doing math and then we're doing some, I'm gonna do some stickers and the okay. I just put stuff in their bottom drawer 
that they can work on if they want to. And, you know, that's obviously kind of... Here, I'll show you. So we have our extra Matthew C. blocks. Um, and then we have our nature sketchbook that we got. And I just have an extra folder. And then back here... Um, there's kind of some activity books under there, <clears throat> or sticker books, and then there's just these little Hooked on Phonics books, which are perfect because, um, he can read these by himself, and then I also put just some... Can I read one to them in this video? Sure. Um, then there's just, like, little readers back here. So I just kind of stuck them all there. I kind of keep a lot of the readers we have together, just, um, so anyways. Oh, are you reading it? Sam licked, licks dad's mitt. Good job. <clears throat> Is this mitt a hat? No. Is this mitt a fan? No. Sam sat, sat on the mitt. Is this, is it... Uh, Matt, no. Sam bit, bit the mitt. Good job. Mommy. Yeah, just a minute. Okay, so this is, um, Titus just grabbed this book out of um, his bottom drawer. And so he's been doing this, and I'm counting this as handwriting for today. Because he is doing some handwriting in there. And he has like a little spelling letter practice handwriting book but um that's the nice thing about homeschooling with um of course you're gonna get so many books and things that you buy oh my goodness I've just actually started cleaning some stuff out because my daughter is um four and a half and so we're not quite using as much as we used to because she likes to do more what the boys do so anyways I just have so much stuff and I've I'm finally able to get rid of some of it but um, so yeah, he's doing that, and Natalia is working on... And I need to do typing. Oh, you need to do typing, okay. It's kind of hard to see, but she's doing Starfall. It's one of her favorite websites, and... Yes, and she's not letting me do typing. Oh, well, I think you will be able to do it here in a second. So we also have a free typing lesson, and I'll show you that in a second. But we are... Let's see, Roman, where are you? Okay, so we need to do that together. Do you want to video that with me? Yes, we can. That's and good. then we will do, he'll do his typing on the computer, and then he has a presentation. Like that is for our um, classical conversations. Our community day is tomorrow, so got he practices it. that. I got he a wanted drone to, for Christmas. Yes, he got a drone for Christmas, so he wants to talk about the drone and how they work and things like that. His dad usually helps him with that because they really enjoy kind of how things work and so he helps him with that one and then Titus actually has one that he's going to practice here in a second and he likes to write his own so that's been working out well and then I help Natalia with hers so anyways um yeah then I have him read for 15 minutes at some point and then we do memory master review and then we play video games after 15 minutes of reading Yes, you have to read before you play video games this afternoon, right? Wait, right on. Wait, wait, wait. So, we are going to... Do you have a pencil? We are doing our Shirley English, and we are going to turn... We're going to practice some synonym and antonym um, and this is the start. words. You can draw at the end of the book, it looks like. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, those are just tests. Okay. So, turn to your synonym and antonym Ooh. section. Ready? Find chapter 14. Chapter 14? You said 13. 13. Okay? Let's see. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, Far near antonym rush curry synonym part piece synonym part and piece. Good job. Yeah, like you have a piece of um a part a, a part of a drill, or you could say this is a piece Parts of a drill. Parts and pieces. Yeah. 
parts and pieces. Good job. Okay. Okay, now we review our jingles. Can you tell me what a sentence is? A sentence, sentence, sentence is complete, complete, complete. When five simple rules, it meets, meets, meets as a subject, 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 and a verb. <laughs> verb, it makes sense, sense, sense with every word, word, word. Add a capital letter, letter, and an N, mark, mark. Now we're finished, and aren't we smart? Remember, subject, verb, complete, sense. Capital letter and an N mark, too. That's what a sentence is all about. Good job. Well, what's a noun? Three. Person, place, thing, activity, or idea. Prone, uh, verb? A verb is a word that asserts an action, shows a state of bringing links two words together, so it's another verb. Okay, what's a, an adverb? One. An adverb modifies a verb adjective or another adverb and answers the questions who, when, how, when, where, what, how, and how much, to what extent, under what condition. Okay, so I've written out a sentence. I've written out a sentence, and he's going to label it. And I'm starting to write in cursive so he can start reading in cursive. Because it takes some practice. <laughs> but he's doing a good job. What so he's raced to the house. Cats raced to the house. So he marks that as what? Subject now. Yep. What, what is being said about the cats they yeah, raced? Is that an article adjective? What do you think? No. <laughs> we're learning about prepositions today, so we're going to have to talk more about this. He's going to give us his presentation that we do for Community Day on Fridays at Classical Conversations. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to tell you about my drone. I got it for Christmas for my nanny and papa. The remote uses radio frequency to control the drone. It can fly indoor and outdoor. Mine can't really fly outdoor. Some drums can be controlled by your smartphone, like the ghost. Some drums can carry a camera to take pictures or videos. There are even drones that can deliver packages to your house. Some drones have sensors that allow them to balance things like a pole or a glass of water while flying. This is the end of my presentation. Any questions? Okay, just good finished job. his math, so I always check it over, and I'm always here to kind of help him out doing that. Hey, no, get the math out for me. Get it out. Yeah, surely you would have to turn this video for <laughs> All right, so we just kind of look over what he did. Oops, you forgot to write something in. Come here, buddy. Come here, sweetheart. Hey, Titus. Come here. Oh, yes. So he's doing his dance. Roman's doing his dance mat typing. That's what it's called. Yep. Why don't you plug in the headphones so it's not distracting while Titus finishes his now? Hi. Where's your pencil? Here it is. Okay. Now, fill this in. Okay, now you need to color these. What color is the seven? There you go. And I just keep a little basket with all of his um, colors for each of his blocks. And then what color is the three? Sometimes I have him correct this, and sometimes I don't. <laughs> what is the three? All right, Natalia's playing here with her dollhouse. Titus is now done with his math. Clean up the blocks and the crayons, and then you can watch your brother. He loves to watch his brother do dance mat typing, and he also likes to try it himself. Oh, who do we have here? Cindy. Cindy? <laughs> Oh, and Merida. Awesome. Okay, so Titus is almost done. We just have to, um, I haven't changed this yet on his schedule, but this is um, actually not his reading lesson anymore. It is logic of English, so we have to do that. And then he has to give me his presentation, which is so cute. He does it himself, so. And he knows what he's talking about, which is great. Uh, he's talking about dogs this week. And then... Um, yeah, I think Roman's about done. 
He needs, we need to do memory master review. So basically how we do it is we do like our weekly review all together and we haven't actually started back up yet. So we don't have that for this week. And then at the end, I just go over with only my oldest, um, like past weeks and we listen to the CD in the car and stuff like that. So, uh, we get kind of review that way for the little ones, but um, I don't know if my oldest one's going to try for Memory Master. We're kind of going for it right now, but if, I mean, he's only third grade, so I'm not pushing it too hard, but we are just reviewing um, one kind of subject each day, and I have to double up um, one day. So today is history and science review. We like to make things. You will... First prize at the fair, Bell says. Bell's father goes to the fair. But Bell's father gets lost. She finds his hat. It's outside the beast's castle. Please don't let him go, Bell says. I will take his place. Then you must stay. Here I love forever. when he reads to her. Huh? I love when you read to her. <laughs> You must stay here forever, says the beast. Belle says that she will stay. Where are you going, Missy? Did you figure it out? Yeah. So we just finished lunch. It's noon. <clears throat> we ate a little early today. We got done with school in about um, two and a half hours. Two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. I forget what time we exactly started. But that's pretty normal. We like to do like 9 to 11-ish, give or take. So Titus is working on a, he got a stick bot. Yeah. <laughs> Are you figuring it out? He got this stick bot for Christmas. And um, it's just this little guy who has suction cups on him. And you kind of start him out like this. And there's an app that goes with it. And we just have old phones that we kind of let them do I use. Have a video of it though? I don't know, honey. We we're trying to figure out how to work it. Anyways, it's like a stop motion film and like he can do a cartwheel and things like that. Anyways, we're trying to figure that out. Um, what's your brother doing? Is he playing Connects? I think he's playing Connects in his room. And my daughter is playing Barbies. Uh, good memories. I used to love playing Barbies. Hey guys, we are headed to take my youngest to preschool. She goes for three hours in the afternoon. And we are headed... <laughs> they know I'm making a video. Um, yeah, so we're just headed there. I just got my package delivered from Rainbow Resource. It's our... Um, our new math books. So it, for my oldest son, we just ordered new math. And so I'm excited to look through that tonight. And we're a little bit behind in math. Um, we're actually changing curriculums. So I need to kind of look through it and see where we're going to be able to pick up in this new curriculum. So anyways, that's where we're headed. And um, yeah, not much else exciting is going on. school. Mommy, look at Oh, cute. <laughs> All right, go in. Go on in. Have fun. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> hey, guys. I thought I would show you what math curriculum I just got. Um, we are trying the Saxon math. We did Matthew C, and I loved it. But I did feel like we needed to make a change. Um, I'll let you know at the end of the semester whether or not we like Saxon math any better. But with my oldest, I felt like we have just, um, we've kind of lagged behind a little bit, which is fine. Uh, he's getting it. But I do feel like we are, um, I, I don't know, I just felt like there was maybe a change that needed to happen with the way that we were doing our math. So we're going to try this. And for all of these books... Um, this is, I believe, what he writes in. I don't know. Anyways, I think that's what he writes in. And obviously this is for me. And then there's a power-up workbook. And I'm not exactly sure what that is. Anyways, you guys who use Saxon can let me know how you like it and 
how it works and then there's a testing book. Anyways, we are going to try this out and see if this works any better and I will let you know. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our day today. Um, we went to Trader Joe's, we went to um, the library and the jeweler down the street because I needed to, um, I have like a little necklace that has all my kids' names on it and I had lost it for a while and I needed to um, shorten the chain on it so it just needed a good cleaning and some TLC. So anyways, I got that done and then we did that while my daughter was at preschool and um, we are now, yeah, back home. It's like 6.30. I'm already in my pajamas. Um, it's our community day for CC tomorrow for Classical Conversations. So I am actually going to um, get ready for that, kind of put the finishing touches on everything. I kind of work on it a little bit each night of the week so it's not so overwhelming the night before. And I still use my, I did a like a video on this, I still use my expandable file folder um, to plan everything and take it all with me to our community community day. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and kind of coming along with us on our school day. So we just, um, yeah, we kind of had a fun day actually because we got to get out and do some things. I mean, we get out most days, but um, it was just kind of fun to run a few errands and do a few things like that. So anyways, I better get busy kind of planning and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.